Good evening, Master Tanaka. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I am Masaharu Taniguchi, as I was known here when I was incarnated here on Earth. Many people follow until today this doctrine that was brought through channelings. And this doctrine today has a direction. But I won't get into that, okay, Master? Yes, because we know that through these channelings, the intention is only to bring the message of what was in my being. As everything is being conducted today, this is not what is being discussed, okay? Yes, so I will put it like this. When I was incarnated, of course, there was a physical condition that pushed me to have a process in which I allowed myself to have a greater knowledge about myself. Because this is what I put to everyone. When you want to enter in a spiritual life, as you know it here, the first factor is this desire. A desire to know yourself. Because in you, there is a force. In you, there is a belief that everything that manifests is not what it truly is. This is the understanding. Many times, you look at the external world, and through this external world, you capture information. And through that information, you are, in a way, self-indoctrinating yourselves to have perceptions. And what you don't realize is that many times these perceptions are leading you to an illusion. They are not leading you to the truth. When each one decides to dive inward and really question yourself, where is my truth? Is my truth what I see in my outer world? Or is my truth within me? I went through this questioning. Then, as the outer world was not what I believed was true, the inner world I was in was a lack. It was disease. It was many factors that to my conception of God were not possible. So, I decided to dive inward to find out what was true for me, if what I was seeing was really my truth. And the surprising thing, I can say, had two facets. I discovered that everything that was manifesting in my life was my belief. I believed in it because I lived that intensely. But there was also another side that believed that the world was much bigger than that. And this side that believed the world was bigger, that was where I decided to dive in. That was where I decided to find my truth. Because what I was living, I couldn't accept for me. It couldn't be real. So I made a choice. And this is what you have to realize. You have the option to make choices. I chose this side, where I believed that the world was much bigger than I could see. Where I believed that the world was beyond what the eye could see. When I believed this, when this really became my belief, when you say insights began to occur to me. And these insights were leading me to write books. Why books? Because this was my will. Because this was the way I believed that people would pick up, that people would accept the message that was being transmitted to me. Behold, Everything you do in your life works this way. Everything you wish to conduct of good works this way. You determine how you want to do it. 
And if you truly believe that what you are doing will have that final result that will lead greater clarity to people, that will lead to a better condition of life to them, this is what happens. So everything, everything you do is based on this. In what you really want and in what you really believe. I can put it this way, when I found out what my real desire was, when I found out where I wanted to direct my life, where was the real intention in my living, this is what I dedicated myself to. Yes, I wrote several books. I can even tell you other factors, but we will leave that to another occasion. But this is what you must, I say, grasp how to lead your own life, how to look at yourself and through this look, discover, as you say here, what is your life mission? What you say is the intention of this incarnation. Every incarnation is based on an intention. All beings incarnate to achieve a goal to achieve various goals, but everyone has a goal for this incarnation. Today, you may be a little bit lost in relation to objectives, in relation to goals. But what I say to everyone, when you believe in yourself, everything you believe becomes a truth. So when you really understand these words, you will observe that you open all doors because your belief, your conviction in yourself keeps all doors open. Because when you really dive inside and connect to this divine presence that is in every being, what does this divine presence present to you? That all doors are open to you. This is why I say that you have choices, but your choice doesn't have to close other doors. Your choice can be to keep all the doors open and through these open doors to arrive at the final result, which is the knowledge of your true self. With this guidance, with much gratitude, I say goodbye. Thank you very much.